that this keyword in JavaScript can sometimes be confusing. So in this video, I'm going to help you understand it better. Now let's take the object on the screen as an example. The user object has three properties, name, age, and the subscribe me method. Note that a function within an object is called a method. So subscribe me is called a method within the user object. Now it's common that a method might want to access the information stored in the object to do a certain job. So I mean that the subscribe me function would want to access the name or age property within its function. And to access the object or the object properties, a method can use the this keyword. The value of this is the object before the dot, which means here when we write user.subscribeme to call the subscribe me method, that this keyword refers to the user object. So whenever we call the this keyword within the subscribe me function, it will refer to the user object, which means it will be able to access the user object properties because the this keyword always refers to the object which is used to call the method which in this case is the user object. So as you can see on the screen, the browser is able to print out the name explodivity even though we have used this.name in the console log of within the subscribe me method. Hence, here during the execution of user.subscribe me, the value of the this keyword will be the user object. Technically, it's also possible to access the object properties in the method without using the this keyword and that is by referencing it directly by the outer variable, which means we could do something like this. We could use the user.name directly instead of this.name and that would work as well. But doing this is not recommended and we should always use the this keyword in these cases. Otherwise, the code becomes highly unreliable. And that's because if we decide to copy the user to another variable, for example, if temp user is equal to user and after that, we override the user variable with something else, which is null in this case, and then execute temp user dot subscribe me, then the wrong object will be accessed within subscribe me method, which means user dot name within the subscribe me method will throw an error because now user doesn't exist and that this keyword refers to temp user object because temp user is attached to the subscribe me function since we are calling temp user dot subscribe me. But if we replace the user.name within the subscribe me method with temp user.name, then the code would have worked fine. But this would require us to manually change the user to temp user within the subscribe me method as we did just now, which isn't feasible because when we assign user to temp user variable, we want to be able to use its properties just as before without having to change anything manually, like we did in this case by changing user.name into temp user.name. And therefore, if we use the this keyword and wrote it as this.name within the subscribe me method instead, then the this keyword would have automatically referred to the temp user object on its own while being called here, and the code would have worked just fine. That's the advantage of using the this keyword. Now, the this keyword is not bound to anything, which means it can be used in any function even if it's not a method of an object. This is because the value of the this keyword is evaluated during the runtime depending upon the context. In other words, check out the example on the screen. Here, the same function subscribe me is assigned to two different objects and has different reference to the this keyword in each of the function calls. So basically, when user.subscribe me is called, the this keyword refers to the user object, and when temp user.subscribe me is called, the this keyword refers to the temp user object. So the this keyword could be referring to either the user or the temp user object, depending upon the context and only during runtime, that is when the function is called. Now we can also use this keyword within a function that is not attached to an object at all. For example, here, subscribe me is directly being called and isn't attached to any object. In a case like this, the this keyword refers to the window object, as you can see in the console as well. So this means that this keyword when used in a function without being attached to any object refers to the window object. Now lastly, it's important to remember that arrow functions do not have their own this keyword. So if we console.log this keyword within an arrow function, the console will print out the window object, even though the arrow method is being called with the user object assigned to it. So if we go ahead and console log this dot first name, you will see it gives undefined because this keyword in an arrow function is referring to the window object. 
and not the object it's being used within. But here's the interesting thing. If the arrow function is within an outer normal function and that outer normal function is invoked with user object, then the this keyword within the arrow function is taken from the outer normal function, which means consider the example on screen. Here, the arrow function named arrow is within the subscribe me function. So the this keyword within the arrow function takes the reference from the outer function that is the subscribe me function since subscribe me function is attached to the user object while being called. So ultimately it is able to console log the output explodivity. So this proves that the this keyword works in an arrow function only if it's taken from an outer function because arrow functions do not have their own this keyword. If you want me to go deeper between the differences between arrow and normal functions, comment down and I will come up with a video for the same. So to summarize everything in this video, the points to be noted are 1. The functions present as an object property are called methods. 2. Methods in the object can be used or invoked as object.method name. 3. The methods can reference the object as the this keyword. 4. When a function is declared, it may use the this keyword, but that this keyword has no value until the function is called. 5. A function can be copied between objects depending upon the object that's invoking the function at that time. Number 6. And lastly, the arrow functions have no this keyword. And when this keyword is accessed inside an arrow function, it is taken from outside, which could either be the global window object or the normal outer function if there is one. So this is all about the this keyword and you can watch the video over and over again to get a deeper understanding. It's okay if you couldn't consume all the information in the first go itself. So that's all for the video. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.